What's up, Rockstars? I got Ascendancy here. This is last few hours on Kickstarter. I know this is late. They shipped it kind of late. I responded late. I'm unboxing it late, but it is here. It is in time, and you should check it out. But let's go ahead and see what's all in here. See if that helps you make a good decision for you. All right, so obviously the... Uh, uh, and I have not opened this. This was just like out of the big brown box. Um... Obviously, the Kickstarter is linked down in the description below. I'm going to carefully, I think I heard some movement. Okay, there's nothing on the bottom, so I'm not too concerned about that. Hopefully, nothing broke. This is, I believe, a second-hand prototype on top of that. And, of note, it is a prototype, so keep that in mind. Not everything here is Final Fantasy. A lot of what is in here is not final, so everything's subject to change. Looks like we have a little uh, player aid right off the bat, so that's cool to see. It's kind of nice. We have some loose tokens. Like I said, I believe I even got this second hand on top of that, but we got it here so I can show you that. All right, let's take a look at what this is. Some more loose tokens. <laughs> got some coins going around everywhere. This is a, a rather a small board, but I think it's one of several boards. So here's where you'd put your, your hex stuff here. And it looks like they are pre-printed in mountain stuff going on there. Looks like there's some kind of a helper aid here. Uh, two, three, four, five, six, one. Or maybe it's a different order. I don't know. It seems like a normal order to me. Love the art. The coloration around it's really good too. I dig that. And then on the back, it looks like we have a different, same order here, same thing here, but it looks like the map is different. See, the mountains are different. The background is different. So there's two different ones there to use on that. Moving back onto here, just because I just kind of skimmed over this real quick. It looks like there is some iconography. All right, so we can see that here with the different icons and everything like that. Uh, the text here is a little small, but otherwise the text is actually quite big, which is kind of nice. Um, the, the bold headers and stuff work well. The little separators work nice as well. Uh, definitely, there's a lot here, right? So that'll be kind of the, the big question. I'm like, this just looks like a whole bunch of text, but looks like it's like, oh, I need to know about ore. Oh, it's needed to build little house things and craft mana stones, deploy war machines, and upgrade settlements. So well, that's good. Maybe I want some ore. So that could definitely help on like first time playthroughs, I imagine. Kind of ease you in on like, well, what am I looking for? What am I wanting to do? Okay, it looks like we got two books here. You can see the scenario booklet and the reference guide. Oh, I said booklet. That's a book. Let's look at the scenario book first because it was on top. So we've got some really cool art here. I like the like fuzzy people in the background. I will say one small thing is this is uh, does read a little digital. What I mean by that is, and again, everything is not necessarily final, but there's a very crisp line to these fuzzy people, and that doesn't really work out as well. Like, the crisp line on these people, I think, works great. But when they're fuzzy, I think they need to fuzz that edge a little bit. Um, it's very much a, hey, we put these fuzzy people there. Otherwise, it fits, like, the background art and stuff like that really well, so I dig that. On the back, it looks like you have just the last page of different stuff, so don't quite look at that. We have a table of contents here. So it's all based off headers and stuff like that. And then a prologue. This is nice looking. That looks cool. We've got some art. We've got some introduction with some actual story. Not a whole bunch, but a little bit. Kind of tells you how to go about things. Scenario set up. All the different things you'll need there. It looks like they have different, uh, uh, like, how long it'll take, depending on the amount of people you have. So that's cool. First decade. So there's several decades in here, huh? <laughs> The art looks nice. I'm digging the art. Phase 4, The Empire. Decade and Step. So that's one decade. Then after that, you have the second decade. So quite a bit there, actually. That's pretty detailed by the looks of it. Then we have the reference guide. This, there's nothing on the back. If we go to the back here, though, there is more reference in the reference guide. <laughs> um, some Looks like some more. Is this like a reference guide or a rule book? This looks like a rule book to me. There's a table of contents. I haven't seen an index yet. We got a uh, keyword glossary, which is not an index. Um, though you can kind of combine it to one. It's just an inefficient index then because there's a whole bunch of text in between. We'll, we'll take a look. Component list. It shows all the different components, pictures, numbers, and the, um, the uh, actual uh, item that it is. Obviously, the layout's all funny and they don't believe in capitalization. But other than that, it looks good. I dig that. From the creator, so here's uh, a little bit from Matthew Meeple, so cool to see that. Um, things to know, so like, hey, going into this, what are we doing here? That's kind of neat. And then straight to setup, it shows setup, it has numbers, 
call out boxes, stuff like that. This actually looks pretty advanced, especially for, you know, the stage at which this game's at. That's really cool. Gameplay concept. So again, kind of some high level stuff. And then it looks like there's a nice separator. And then now we're into like rule book, rule book. So that's kind of cool. I'm not seeing necessarily a whole like, oh, it looks like we even have little notes from the designer. So that's kind of cool. Um, like examples. I'm not seeing a lot of that per se. Again, it could be in here. I'm just missing it. Um, and otherwise, it is fairly text heavy. So there's there's definitely a lot here. This is not a, a small game on that. So there's unsorted. Okay, so here's the keyword glossary. There are no page numbers. So there is no index. There definitely is to be an index with 68 pages of rules. Um, I think an index would help out a greatly. So luckily, they have time to add an index. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what we got here. All right, so we got, again, we got these loose tokens here. This looks like uh, gold coins, one, and then uh, some are just one on both sides, and then, or three. So it's not like a one versus three thing. You just get one or the other, but it looks up it on that. There might be more. We'll, we'll take a look. Looks like we have some building stuff here, which is fun. This is, I believe, the, like, big dice tower thing. Looks advanced. Who I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. But it looks cool, too. It's got that going for it. Look at that. That's freaking sweet is what that is. It doesn't seem like it lines up there. It must be like that or something. There must be something in between. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know about this. I might have to look. Um, all right, so I'll probably build this off camera. Maybe show you at the end. So stay tuned for that. It's coming up. <laughs> All right, I mean, that's not part of it, that's mine. All right, we got some meeples here, and it looks like some some perhaps standees. Are these acrylic already? That'd be kind of cool. What is that? Seems fancy. I, I can't even open this thing. Professional unboxer, as always. Oh, yeah, these are, ooh, ooh, ha, ooh. <laughs> All right, so here you can see some of the, the different colors. They look nice been like laminated so you can see in the middle there is like the paper and then they they put this kind of shell around it which is kind of fun gears and paint splotches is what we got going on there and then we have a snake and a horsey <laughs> and a bird where's the green one and a wolf oh i know which faction i'm being oh man but it's not red but it is a wolf <laughs> all right again i'm gonna organize all this later okay get out of here i got stuff to do we got some meeples Looks like at least these meeples are already printed on, so that's kind of fun. So you get the little soldier guy. Just has a little bit. He's just wearing a vest. That's really it. He just, he's, he's but he's got a little top knot and a sword. And then you have the farmer who has his overalls, so a lot more printed on him. He's got his shovel. Super important. <laughs> and uh, looks like you also, oh man, so you also get like the bishop priest guy. So there's that. He's got his little shawl like thing you get the 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 painter or i don't know some italian french dude guy going on i don't know probably a little racist but uh i mean it in a fun way <laughs> and then whatever this one is i don't know what this one is uh so i i don't know this offhand but they have a nice necklace so there's that all right so that's that we got some more tokens here almost look more of these this, they just threw this gold in here, I swear. Gold everywhere. We got a normal token here. Ooh, two, two coins. So uh, token-wise, they're a little skinny right now, but they're actually kind of nice, and they're not like Chronicle X skinny, but they are maybe a little bit harder to pick up because of that. But they're they're like really firm. They're, they don't have a lot of squish to them, which is kind of nice. Let's see if they're all like that. It looks like they are. These, these are pretty well printed. Not too bad. Uh, a little off-center, right? Again, prototype so they have plenty of time to fix that um and often prototypes are a little bit darker as well the ink the they'll, they'll work on the color retention and lightness and everything so empower attack damage is increased by one for one battle so it's kind of cool to to see fortified it, it instead of just having fortified they even tell you what fortified is what empower is what subdued is what region is pacified searing Faded, Poison, Disorient, Lucky, Frozen, Control, Diseased, Weak. I'm um, half of these things. Tamed. <laughs> that's cool. I dig that it has a little explanation in there. That's actually super useful. We do have some minis. We'll get to the minis. But let's look at some trays first. Oh, these are these house trays are cool. Look at this. 
So again, all prototypes still, but this is fun. Let's separate them. They're all stacked nicely together, a little too nicely together. You can see kind of the, the difference here between them. So here's House Vallis, House Roberts. Let's see, they all have different units. House Khan and House Respute. Now, see, he has Rogue, Kingpin, Alchemist, and Foreign Champion. And then you can see, like, the Alchemist has Field Research and Polymorph, Easy Influence, Brain Slayer, Mana Bomb, Portal, Phase Ring, Spell, Bulled. Whereas the Kingpin here has Ambush, Frame, Extortion, uh, Counterfeit, Organized Crime, Astral Gauntlet, stuff like that. Now, notice she has... Hunter, Chieftain, Druid, and Foreign Champion. And they have different things. So the Druid has Druid Stones that pacify and convert and neutralize. Book of Geomancy. Or the Chieftain has Ambrosia and Faithful Mule and Teamwork and Farming and stuff. So that's cool that they all have these different ones. Huskon has a Raider, a Barbarian, an El Elementalist, and Foreign Champion. Now the Foreign Champion looks like it's a... Oh, it's not the same on each one. So they all have a Foreign Champion by the looks of it. But they don't all have... It looks like they... Okay, so they have similar roles. So see here, we have the Raider and the Barbarian, or the Rogue and the Kingpin, or the Hunter and the Chieftain. And then they have the Magic Person, so the Alchemist, or the Druid, or the El Elementalist. And they all have a Foreign Champion. But again, even then, different skills and stuff like that. So this one, yep, same kind of thing. They have the Sky Pirate and the Smuggler, and then the Illusionist and the Foreign Champion. Very cool. It looks like they do all have the same stuff on the top. It's a frontier phase. There are different phases, right? Uh, so you have outcast laborers, loyalists, and lords for each one. And then royal advisors and stuff like that. These are cool trays, though. I, I dig that a lot. And I like the... Uh, the It's like symmetrical, but also not. It's it's kind of themed, which is cool. We got some, some tiles here. Oh, man, look at this. We got the rabid cannibal. Hate those guys. The Mad Vizier, the Serpent, and the Twisted Spintrist. Oh man, I hate when those Spintrists are twisted. Um, so we got some health here. On each of them, looks like it just says three-fourths on all of it. Uh, oh, uh, and then like per allied, so it kind of scales by the looks of it. Same with this, so they have their, their defense and damage scaling here. And then it looks like you roll to see kind of what they're doing. On the back, oh, they have, okay, so they're double-sided here. So this is, the oh, the Spintrist and the Twisted Spintrist. The d Demagogue and the Serpent. The Ad Ar Archvisor and the Mad Vizier and the Cur and the Rabid Cannibal. Very cool. That's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, these are nice, though, too. I and I love the art. That art is fantastic. All right, we do have some, some hexes. Let's see we have another house buried in there, so we'll take a look at that here soon, too. There's a whole bunch of these. I'm not going to look at all of them. Just look for stuff like uh, Repeated Art, uh, Continental Airship, Escape This Realm, Royal Alice, uh, Mercenthal, God, Woodholm. And again, that's like a, a different thing. It looks like Pathfinders can do something or something like that. The Jungali, Embarkment. So far, this all looks pretty unique. Everything seems to have unique art. That art was in the uh, rule book, but oh, oh, right here. So Trail of the Kings, at least we have two of those, three of those. Interesting. Yeah, those are like railroads <laughs> for Monopoly. Sealed, unsealed, unsealed, sealed. So we got a few of those. Complete trial, and this complete trial, is that, what was the art on that one? Completed trial. Okay, so looks like we do have some commonalities here. Lots of these different symbols and stuff. These feel great, by the way. Like, these are awesome. I really like these. Embarkment, Industrious, Mongoria, another embarkment. So the embarkment, though, see, that's different. So I don't know if each one's going to end up being different or not, but that's kind of cool. Trial of, King, Trial of Kings again. Lots of those. Azure Fall. Very cool. Okay, so I don't want to look at it anymore, but uh, obviously there's a lot here. They have some symbology and different, uh, depending on what kind it is, they have different uh, fields to put stuff in. Very neat. All right, let's go ahead and get this last tray out before I go any farther. Just so 
Let's say a little organ. Oh, 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 my oh, wait, no, this is different. This is different. Okay. There's so many trays. Okay, so here we have some uh, envelopes. Looks like you probably put some stuff in the envelopes. But right now, there is nothing in said envelopes. But they are mysterious envelopes. <laughs> As we all know, these tend to be that way. All right, so we got some freaking sweet looking cards. So let's see what's going on here. Oh man, we got so many trays guys in here. There's a ton. All right, so these obviously a little uh, a little on the skinny side for now again, prototype. So they do have Werecat, two different versions. Um, nice hair, that's like L'Oreal commercial there or something. <laughs> uh, different, yeah, Ram one, Swipe one, Hamstring, Apply Root, Fake Call, Gain Faded, and here we have Mangle and Maul and stuff. So different uh, versions of the Werecat. Here's the Elementalist. Uh, that's a, a princess there, and this is the Arch Princess, uh, Lava Mancer. Heck yeah! It's like the, the leveled up version of it. Here's the Raider. Oh man, I thought she had like a lightsaber. Another princess, and then an Outrider. So yeah, okay. So it looks like it's like the Barbarian to the Gladiator. So they can uh, rank up the Sky Pirate to the Admiral. He gains a beard, gets a little bit older. The Illusionist to the Time Lord. The Smuggler to the Whaler. Very cool. I, I dig this. They have Tidal Blade Strike armor up and Harpoon. And then he gets Tidal Blade plus Smash armor up and Harpoon plus one. Druid to Geomancer. Hunter to Arch Ranger. The Chieftain goes to the Pack Leader. Very cool. Kingpin to the Overlord. These are awesome. And the art. Fantastic art. I really dig the art here, guys. The coloration looks good. I mean, even now this looks nice. I love the, the border that they have going on here. Again, they'll work on the cut and all that kind of stuff still. Here's some scenario rolls. Uh, the Mad Vizier is a scenario roll. The Tracker, Allies of Justice, the Commander, the Archaeologist, the Destroyer. So each one of the... Ooh, man, Doomsday. Nice. Dig that. The Redeemer. These are cool, all these different scenarios and stuff. I like it. I like it. All right, now it looks like we do have some more in here as well. So let's take a look because these are awesome. Rolling Barricade and a Trebuchet. Nothing on the back too much except maybe how to build them. The Ballista, the Resupply Car, First Aid Tent, the Flamethrower, <laughs> Scrapper, Heathens. These are like mercenaries maybe you can... So this is like some kind of like... Oh, I can just like hire these people, a bandit. Abyssal Bla Basilisk, the Tusk Mammoth. These are maybe things you fight. The Violent Cyclops. So many. Skyray Manta. The Hydra Viper. Ooh, love it. Vampire with a Y. The Fright Gazer. Soulless Lich. Rage Phoenix. Love it. Chaos Minotaur. Massive Crab. Got the Crab, guys. Crocolisk. Oh my goodness. Love it. These are awesome. What? Oh, the Giant Locust. The Flame Fox. The Mind Slicer. Man, imagine if these were minis, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying they should do that. I'm just saying, like... I would lose my mind. <laughs> Those are cool. Those are awesome. Love it. Not the same stuff you've fought a million times before, and I dig it. Those are more like a lich or a bone guy or whatever. Looks like here we have some consumable items. This is the innkeeper. So it looks like there are like different towns for each one here. So they have the vitality search. Let me actually zoom in a little bit so I'm holding it up for you guys. We're not on anything too big anymore. Vitality Surge, Invisible War Paint, Status Balancer, Quickness Oil, Sharpened Stone. I'm not really seeing Poison Dart, too many like uh, Stone Ointment, Repeats or anything like that. Scroll of Identification, what is this, Diablo 2? <laughs> Stay a while and listen. That's all I got for you. Um, I'm sad they killed him off. Uh, N3, it's an old game, I'm not spoiling too much. Flip all your unidentified loot tokens to claim their benefits, that's cool. So they have both the explanation and then also like some symbols as well. Um, I don't know how useful it is to have both. Typically you're doing one or the other, but I like the explanations. So 
go right in there. And it looks like here you have the innkeeper, which has different things that it's doing there, some time stuff or whatever. Maybe you can heal while you're there. There's a patron. It looks like, oh, so you can put like a, a dice here by the looks of it. Scout location, build, reveal, two different reveals. It looks like they're, you know, you get this maybe later on or something like that. Or pay three. So different costs to them as well. And then some bigger cards here and stuff. That's cool. I dig that. And it looks kind of gen generic. Yet, and that, you know, you could like take this off. And maybe, maybe this has like a level up. No, there's nothing on the other side. I got so many coins. Um, here's the Enchanter. So again, patrons there, builds there, Mana Stone, Hireling, Ascendancy Quest, and Influence is what you can do on this one. A bunch of different token trays. So it's like, this is unique to the token tray. So it's kind of interesting that you have these, unless you can maybe slot in new ones or something. Or that's just how they did it for the prototype. That's certainly possible. I think this is all one here. I think it just, uh, yeah. So here is the Nemesis Target Hex. Looks like this is where that token came in. We have normal, magic, and rare. Looks like you have some laws. There's some loot here. Oh, one, two, and three loot. Hunger plan, contraband, forbidden knowledge, re-education plan, inqu inquisitions, recon parties. Okay, so a whole bunch of different laws you can do. Looks like you have some people here. For, uh, barricade fortification, tower fortification, fortifications that you can build. Uh, champions and fortifications. So I bet... Some of these other guys go in there too, I bet. Um, where were they? Oh, this one. I bet that's what a lot of these are. Say War Machine, something like that. There's Mercenaries. It says Champion, so you know may maybe they're they're this. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. But I will find out. I'll tell you that much. Either way, very cool to see. These trays are cool. Okay, we got another tray here. We got some more gold all over it. <laughs> Spilled everywhere. All right, here we have the banker. It looks like you can invest money and get ore and stuff like that. So there's little trays to hold all that in. Very cool to see. Uh, you sell for that and you buy for that. Okay, interesting to see that. All right, move these minis aside. Nobody wants to see those, right? Let's look at some dice. These are, I think, painted wooden dice right now in the prototype. They are custom. At least in these, they're they're like these kind of curved, like a Chessex one, super curved. So they'll roll a lot. Looks like it is still a number system, um, though they are different, right? So it's like shields and swords. That's kind of hard to count. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's fine. Um, but once you start getting to six, it does look like a lot. That being said, each one's kind of shaped differently as well. See, they angle that one versus straight on that, which will help with identification. So you can see that and instantly know that versus that versus that instead of having to count them. That's smart. Otherwise, actually, even like the one's angled and the two straight and then the three is straight. But other than the two and the three, every other one, it seems to, to change. So, yeah, that's cool. And again... That, that looks like fun to roll. All right, we got some more meeples here. We're not going to take these out. It looks like it's just different colors of the same ones that we saw the yellow ones of. So we're not too concerned about that. Here's the blue ones as well. We do have, though, some horsies. So let's look at the horsies. That's important. All right, so we got yellow here. Where's my yellow guys? All right, so can, like, like do they... Do they stand like that? Is is that what goes on? No, nope, they don't stand like that. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that guy doesn't anyway. Um, obviously, they're meant for, to hold something, though. So I don't know exactly what. It looks like they have brown, gray, and yellow. Uh, three, two, and one. I imagine maybe they go different speeds or can hold different amounts or something like that. Something to distinguish them by. We do have some regular dice, uh, again, prototype, so, but they are very colorful. It looks like they did match the colors, so that's nice, I guess. Everybody gets one. All right, we got some more. We're almost ready for minis. We do have some more cards here, some more minis, some more trays. Let's look at the trays and then the cards. So this is a lot of fun. What the heck is going on here? I don't know how this works, per se. But it looks like fun, so there's that. It looks like maybe like a scoring thing of some kind. Different scoring things. There's just one of these. I just don't know what the, the nibs are for necessarily. But I'm sure, again, I'll find out. If you know, let us know in the comments below. Okay, it looks like, oh, oh, so this would be a good way to track those nibs. So well, you do have, looks like a pink and a green one of those. 
Otherwise, cubes. You guys have seen cubes a million times. So I'm not going to unbox those. Um, same with this. We have some, it looks like some plastic ones and some uh, wood ones, probably in everybody's color. All right, so everybody gets a little bit of that. Black ones. I don't remember black per se. That might be resources as well. Some more uh, trays to hold different stuff, like loose gold. <laughs> uh, there's quite a few of these. So there's four of them in total. And then we have pink and white ones. So they obviously stand for something. Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, these are kind of fun. Uh, kind of mini-ish. You know what? Let's look at the cards first, and then we'll look at that. And that'll lead us into the minis. And then we're done. And then we're done. All right. So it looks like here I have a whole lot of different... Again, these are like square cards, which is kind of interesting. Ascendancy quests. And then it looks like uh, some other kind of quest things. So these ascendancy quests. An adventure, illegitimate child, masquerade ball, seduction, keen slayer, entice, educate. So some different things there. It looks like they have some fluff on the bottom. And then some uh, information on the top there. And then these, again, I'm not sure. The legacy vice trait. Uh, and then legacy virtue trait. So... Uh, for instance, you could have, this one looks good because it has sloppy, the efficient or the sloppy. And they have different things. And again, a little lore on the bottom of each one. So you have a whole bunch of those. So these are all the negatives probably on this side. The frugal. Hey, what's wrong with that? <laughs> or the forgetful. Okay, never mind. The frugal is the good part. So it is a little mixed here, it looks like. The aimless, indulgent, the pungent, the ham-fisted, the verbose, <laughs> the poised. So that's kind of cool. And on here, we have Legacy Mana Spells, Tornado Push, Awaken Labor Golem, Sword of the Ancestors, an Invisibility Cloak, a Lightning Rod, L Lithe's Stitched Boots, the Twisted Spin Trist. Uh, oh, a Legacy Scenario. Okay, is what these are. Legacy Scenarios. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Those cards were neat, and there were several of them in there. All right, let's take a look at this. So this looks like a lot of fun. Again, I love the art style and everything with this so far. It's very, very pretty game. All right, so it looks like we got quite a few of these. So let's go ahead and take them. Finish that. Okay. So here we have tech cards is what a lot of these are, but it looks like, it looks like some of them are, are oh, well, some of them are flipped or whatever. So we have the Empire, Sky Observatory, Several of those. Maybe they're different levels. Yeah, so see, this is like... Oh, Sky, Sky Observatory 1, 2, and 3. Smuggler's Cove, Clock Tower, Empire, Hunting Camp, Commune, Moonglade. Um, where was the... There was a uh, companion. This one. Loyal Guardian. Look at him. Love it. Love it. Look at him. I want him. And... That's under Empire, and then there's Breed for Horses, also under Empire. And it uh, looks like I want more like that, at least. Then here, all right, we have Ultimates, Grand Heist, Trophy Deck, Siege Mode, Airship Master, so you can be Sid, Lighthouses, and Recon Docks. These are Area of Effects, Passive Enchantment, Scout Master, Evasive Moves, Treasure Hunter, Skywalkers. <laughs> Both Darth Vader and Luke, a warp creature. I'm not going to say Ray. A uh, parallel battle. A, 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 more, a whole lot of these equipments and stuff like that. A hunting spear. Oh, a frontier companion. I love these companions. Freaking sweet. Again, all of this art seems done too. Very impressive. They've been working on this for a while. Matthew, you madman. <laughs> Do you go by Matthew or Matt? I don't know. All right, Volcanum, Lava Axe. Oh, they see, these are so cool. So it looks like each each faction gets all these different things. Invade, Blaze Boots, Boots, Astral Gauntlet that you can like. It, it's again, it's all thematic on what you're getting. I don't know if they're one-to-ones. Again, I'll let you guys know. In other words, is there something that is the exact same thing as it's called something different in the other faction? I always find that interesting if that's the case or not. Not even necessarily a bad thing. Okay, so everybody gets these. See, there's there's green ones, there's red, there's purple, there's blue. Uh, there's the purples, guys. So let's go on and take a look 
at the, probably the blue will show up the best. When you get colored minis like that, it can sometimes be hard to actually see the detail. So you get those little things again to mark your, your spot on, like that, All right? So that's kind of cool, I dig that, that works. And then it looks like you get these discs as well. So let's take a look at the discs because they're sculpted. So on the back is nothing much and these are obviously 3D printed and then primed different colors. But it looks like you did a good job with it. Um, and as you can see, they're just like a little, little city kind of thing. There's that bottom there. Nice and textured. Yeah, they're kind of cool. And again, it looks like they're all the same. Just, oh, uh, fine. I'm okay with that. Makes sense. Okay, so that's those. We do have several of these as well. And then we have the individual minis. So let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of each of these. These are, I think, let's zoom in a little bit too. I think these are on the map. You can like fortify locations and stuff. All right, so let's say we got a few things here. We got a little tower. We got a little fortification thing. This is cool though. Look at this. I mean, that's like sharp right now. <laughs> My goodness. That being said, it looks like it would print pretty well. I like that. This is like the top of uh, Saruman's tower in Isengard. Not to get too nerdy about it, but that looks cool. You can catch a moth on the top of that if you want. And then it looks like we have even bigger ones. <laughs> okay. So here, oops, we have like... It, it, it has the spikes, but it's much taller on top, but then it's only the outside. It's kind of interesting. And there's a little clip here. I don't know where that clip goes, like how that clips on per se, but there's some kind of thing there. And then on here, we have another tower, sort of, kind of. Very interesting. You see the little like town below on that. Very interesting. And I don't know if like, like you're doing stuff like that. Is that what's going like, like, is this what's going on? Is this what we're doing? I don't know. I, d I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Just looky here. So it almost looks like that goes, aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. I dig it. So that goes in like that. And then I'm going to do that just because uh, it looks cool. That's that's my invention. I'm, I'm going to patent that. All right, we got one more thing here, and then we got the minis. The mini minis. We got, uh, it looks like this one is just one thing. Just one thing. Bam. Looks like that probably goes on top there like that, I would think. And so I, I would think also that this, I bet, yep, okay. Oh, oh, look at that. I don't know if that goes there or not. <laughs> I don't know about this one, but I'm gonna put it there. That's kind of fun. I dig that. So here you can kind of see the general style. Now the one thing is that obviously there's no new architecture or anything like that on this. And again, everything is prototype, everything can change. Let's get rid of that though. And take a look at some of these minis in here. All right, well done packaging these. Ooh, quick look at them. There you go. There you go. All right, I got my my pointy stick. I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Oh, these are big. These are like 40 millimeter, at least. Maybe even like 52. This is probably like a 52 millimeter. Actually, this is not bad at all. That's great. Look how big the cat is. I love it. Texture on the cat looks really nice. That looks good. Uh, even the, now see, it, again, it is a, pr uh, a 3D print. So just an FYI, you can see where the postmarks were, for instance. But it's a very good 3D print. They did a good job here. Love the stretching cat. Everybody's going to love the cats here. Some more kind of posts and stuff there you can remove. The wrinkles on the cloth looks good. Um, very static pose here, but I think this fits for this one. There is a small... Very small, a little bit right here. And again, it looks like there's a post in between there they didn't want to remove because they're probably afraid they're going to break the thumb off there or the hands open. I don't think they're going to be doing it quite that good on the regular plastic. Everything else, though, seems very doable, especially with the pose. Very cool. I like it. I like the, the book on the side, the little trim work and everything like that. Nice and regal. I dig it. Okay. Then they have this one. My goodness, does she have some kids? <laughs> so she's got like the wheel on the back going on. She's like dragging this kid, <laughs> pushing this one and, and hold, oh, 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 um, mm, mm. okay. Well, 
Yeah, this seamstress is not a cool person. The texture on the base, I like that a lot. That looks great. And the face looks amazing. It looks really, really good. I love the ropes, too. That works out really well. That being said, that is not a good character. <laughs> okay, hopefully the other ones are a little bit nicer. Okay, so we got this guy here. Looks like he's slightly broken off his base, which is fine. I'll be able to glue that back. No problem. And again, this is resin, which means it breaks easily. It's more brittle. It also means that the details are a little bit different. It also means that it, it cleans up really good. But it would be like this. That's kind of what it would be like. Very cool pose, that's for sure. It's different than a lot of the jumping that you get, which I really appreciate. Again, the basing, that looks very nice. The basing's not necessarily consistent, as you can see. And that's okay. Um, and maybe it's consistent with the types. Those, I think, are, are, are bad people. The rope on the belt looks really cool. I dig that. The, the pose is all awesome. Muscle definition's good. Uh, the hair looks great. They'll probably have to change the hair a little bit in the final production, I would think. And the axe also... Uh, I think it's attached really well. It's really just this part that's extended. And it just looks cool like that. I mean, just awesome. Really, really do dig that. Very cool. All right, next up we have like the Sky Pirate guy. Or the, uh, this is awesome. I dig it. Again, the basing is fantastic. The barrel looks great. Uh, the barrel seems maybe slightly small. Uh, no, it'd probably go up to like his knees or so. That's That's, that's not too bad. Uh, love the mast and obviously this rope is super duper cool. Really dig that. It'll be interesting to see how they do that in the regular plastic. Uh, the sword looks great. The mustache is awesome. The beard's awesome. The guns on the chest look great. Cape flowing by back looks really good. This looks awesome. And like I said, like like there's there's these support posts everywhere and stuff. So again, it is it is different. All right, here's like the Elementalist, I think it was. Love the fire here. That's super cool. Little magic stones. You know, obviously doing the normal kind of f f flame from the hand. Very, very cool mini. Very nicely sculpted. I, I really like this one. I apologize for any focusing issues. I'm trying to record this quick for you guys so I can get this out. So I do apologize for that. Again, these posts are kind of showing up all over the place. I love... The like swirl of the hair, the facial expression looks awesome. I really dig that. Um, very strong stance here on the weapon. Not a lot of grain on the weapon, like wood grain. That's fine. Not not all wood needs that. Just uh, just noting that. The leaves on here are great. That being said, very fine detail. I'd like to see those thickened up a little bit for the final one, so that it'll show up good in the plastic. That's a little too fine. I'm same with like the texture in here. All that uh, tends to kind of start smoothing out in the final uh, plastic injection uh, as you lose a tiny bit of detail. And so if you exaggerate the details, it looks perfect when it comes out. And there's it's as if there's no loss of detail. You just got to be able to do that. Again, all these support posts, just ignore those. I like that one. Uh, the skull looks a little tiny compared to their head. That doesn't necessarily matter. It, it just, you know, it almost makes it look like a kid. Uh, unless you're like just a large person, <laughs> which it looks like they are. So there's that. All right. So this is fun because he's got a little orb that I don't think he's supposed to have. <laughs> All right. Again, the hair looks great. Um, looks like there is a broken finger. Uh, again, it's resin. That, that's bound to happen. And some supports here. Uh, love that the books open and, and fell down here. Love the outstretched hand. It looks like there might have been a sword here as well that broke. Um, so this is an FYI. This isn't quite complete. Um, but yeah, no, cool pose. I dig it. All right, now we have these, this archer here. Again, fantastic. Very often you'll see this kind of like push over here. This cape looks amazing. Love the texture on the end of this cape. Love the hair flowing out too. The quiver in the uh, uh, inside of there like that is awesome. Um, so super cool to see all of that. Love the overhangs on the base. That's also nice. Just a really cool shot. I also, again, the hood looks great. The face looks good. Uh, this is obviously too skinny even for ABS. Often what they'll do is they'll combine it with the arm. You can do that. You just make this arm ABS and the, and like it'll essentially fit onto it like this. So you just cut off both these, ABS it on. It'll look just fine. Super cool. I like the design of that one. All right, one more, guys. Ah, the Rogue. Of course, love the blades. Those look cool. That's a cool design. Love the basing as well. Love that she's crouched down, so she's actually going to be smaller 
than like everybody else because she's she's kind of down even even on that. Um, the cape looks great. Oh man, the texture on it's stellar. But again, you know you'll have to exaggerate that a little bit. Face facial features look good. Hair looks good. Definitely a a, a kind of a deep well in there for the neck. A little satchel here. Yeah, this all looks cool, guys. There's a lot to love here. There's a lot here. If this looks good to you, then by all means, go ahead and back them. They are an indie developer trying to make a cool game by the looks of it, so I'm happy to kind of help support them a little bit. Uh, there is a link down description below, obviously, to it. And if you're seeing this really late, there might be a late pledge still available, so feel free to check it out. Again, it'll be linked down below. Uh, I want to thank them for obviously sending this so I could show you this off to you guys. I will try to get my thoughts on in a gameplay review. I have two other reviews to do first, but after that, I can get this, and that'll be in time, I think, for the late pledge. So by the time you're actually paying for shipping and stuff like that, I should have my thoughts out for you on that. Uh, sorry I can't come sooner, but uh, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bye, guys.